Hello guys, today I will uh, explain how to, how to pollinate a sleeper orchid, in this case a beautiful Cypripedium hybrid I bought um, two years ago uh, in a nursery and uh, so far I was not able to, uh, well I didn't even try to breed it last year, uh, last year I, got, uh, I pollinated three Cypripedium uh, and I got a seed pod only for one, uh, from one. I planted it very late, this uh, very very late winter, almost spring, in Sphagnum moss. Uh, ideally, you should really plant the seeds uh, only in uh, laboratory conditions. I decided to put it in Sphagnum moss with some uh, mycorrhizal fungi. Uh, obviously, usually orchids have different mycorrhizal fungi species according to uh, the species of orchids or at least groups uh, me i just bought uh, just gave a mix of a mycorrhizal fungi for either general um, mycorrhizal fungi for uh, most plants and the other part was mycorrhizal fungi for uh, acidophilic um, acidophilic uh, plants like ericaceous plants um, i didn't have any germination from uh, any of the, well, from the only Cypripedium I successfully pollinated, the other two uh, um, didn't develop any seed pod, and I didn't get any um, plantlet either from the Pleiades seed pod I pollinated, and I developed, yeah, about seven developed. Anyway, so uh, at least one was successfully pollinated, and I got one seed pod. We will see if uh, I will be able to successfully pollinate this uh, beautiful Cypripedium hybrid, as you can see. Uh, it's very nice, uh, a huge, large um, pouch, uh, slipper, uh, with beautiful um, petals, uh, lateral petals, uh, curly, and with a very nice uh, top petal. And again, in the slipper orchids, we have the two, um, the two lower tepals that uh, basically are fused together in a sim petal, this one. Uh, the lip, basically, well, basically this is the lip, the pouch, and uh, it is uh, the, um, uh, one petal highly modified in many orchids and in the Cypripediums as well is, as in all the other lady slipper orchids, uh, indeed constitutes the slipper as you can see it really looks like a slipper a bit more like the, the Dutch uh, slipper uh, the Hollandese slippers of yeah uh, very typical for Dutch woman about this flower uh, the most important part is that well uh, lady slipper orchids are a bit different from most orchids still the male and female part are on the column however uh, the slipper orchids uh, the um, male part that are um, uh, glued in a unit called pollinia, it's not like a dusty the, um, pollen, uh, is behind, as well as the stigma, there is the female part, behind a staminode that is this kind of shield. Uh, basically, the pollinia in this plants is lateral and is not at the top of the column this this one not too sure if you can see it the brownish yeah probably here you can see you see these two brownish dots here so yeah this is the pollen while the stigma is just below and I'll, I'll try to show you here yeah the stigma is this green part that I'm pointing out with my uh, with my toothpick yeah that's the stigma so basically I need to transfer this from he this the mail uh, well the mail pollen from here Cypripediums, uh, basically, the this is a uh, this the flower of Cypripedium is basically a trap. Uh, the um, insect lands on the 
orchid then fell basically in the pouch then tries to escape through some hair at the base of yeah at the base of the flower this i'm not sure if you can actually see this uh, hair here um yeah i'm just yeah there's some hair here and here i'm not too sure if you can actually see them well basically the the insects try to climb climb to this way therefore leaves the pollinia from another plant here on the stigma uh, on the stigma of the plant the green part here yeah that's the one sorry guys this is the stigma and then coming out of the flower then in the best <laughs> situation takes the pollinia out to pollinate another flower ideally you should get a pollinia from a different flower than the one you are uh, insemin pollinating <laughs> not inseminating however unfortunately i have only this uh, cypripedium in flower at the moment today is the 29th of may uh, the two different blooms are actually from the same plant, so really it's the same um, individual. So uh, regardless, I choose the pollen from one flower and they pollinate the same flower, or from one flower and they pollinate the other flower, uh, it will be the same pollen. Some people really uh, prefer to cut the pouch uh, in order to pollinate, uh, but uh, another option is uh, if you are afraid to ruin the aesthetics of the flower you can actually cut a, a window here and uh, let's do that but still actually I didn't uh, pollinate uh, the flower uh, cutting anything maybe that was the reason because I was successful only one so anyway let's try to cut the flower without actually cutting the uh, reproductive parts Most people now will hate me to ruin such a beautiful flower. There's also ant there. But definitely in this way I can show you uh, better what uh, uh, the pollination is about. So here you can see much better that the pollen is here. Do you see the two brown uh, granules, one here and the other one at the back? Yeah, the, 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 the ants decided to be curious. And then here there is the stigma. And you know what I might do instead? Cut completely the flower. Okay, much better, well, not aesthetically, but uh, well, you can see that I have still another beautiful flower. 
However, so this is uh, the Staminod, the shield, and now you will see way, way better the pollen and the stigma. So basically, let me let put through here. So I guess I'm trying to focus. Oh, perfect. Okay, so these two are the pollen for the pollinia. One here, and the second one is this one. And this, this one is the stigma. So what I will do is take in one pollinia. And it dropped. So, okay, I'll take the other pollinia. Okay, and this time I don't want it to drop. So you can see the two pollinia, well, uh, one pollinia here is brown, and you can see it get attached to the to the toothpick because I, like a stupid I decided to try to get it from the non sticky part instead like an insect I should have just passed the toothpick on the brown spot and then I am trying now to place it on the stigma And drop. Well guys, I lost this pollinia from this flower, so I will need to use the other flower. Sorry for the very messy video. Okay, so... Okay, now I go like an insect, hopefully, and get the pollinia from the sticky part.
Okay. And then I pollinate the stigma, hopefully this time. So I guess it's a bit difficult to put it on focus. Okay, now should be on focus. And okay, last chance. Wish me good luck. Okay, you know what? I'll do by hand. Stigma, Paulinia, okay, I should have done that from the start, by hand from the start. Okay, well, now you can see that this is the staminode the shield. This is the stigma and the camera is still not working. Ah, oh, this camera is terrible for focus. Well, it's a mobile phone anyway. Yeah, you can see basically the staminode, the stigma, and the and the pollinia in this situation. I wish I had another person to at least hold the mobile because it is difficult to do everything. Okay, so you see in the center. Yeah, in the center, the pollinia. Okay, guys, sorry. 